Welcome back to Bulletproof Mindset, Scotland's number one health, fitness and entertainment podcast. So today for the first 44 minutes, we have a chit chat and that chit chat got pretty wild where we talk about the KSI, Logan Paul, Dylan Dennis and Tommy Fury fight, which then led us to talk about body count, OnlyFans, porn stars. We went off the rip. Please don't cancel us, but we make it cancel, but fuck it. We As it always, now. we're going to never edit an episode or take out any controversial statements because at the end of the day, these are our opinions and that's our opinions doesn't mean it's your opinion and it doesn't mean that we are right. And <laughs> as men, we most likely will never be right. <laughs> Jillian, shush. We then go in and talk about Paige Hathaway's uh, disgusting, horrible, fucking editing our photos and try to sell supplements. But we get into the conversation with that and go deeper into mental health issues and why some people might actually be doing this. Yeah, so I told my own story because when we were away in Dublin on an event, it's probably we realise that a lot of men and women as well are really struggling with severe low loneliness at the moment. And I genuinely think my own story, as well as many people we've had in the podcast, will and hopefully will inspire people to change their lives. Yeah, so a bit of context. I asked James, what was one of the biggest things he'd done to overcome his challenges this year? And um, we speak about suicide on, on this one, which... It's probably something we would both didn't expect to talk about there, but um, it's true and it's it's sort of a raw conversation. So you might, if you've been affected with that in your life, it might be something you want to skip over. But I think for what James talks about, he shares a lot of a lot of valuable insights into his own journey with that for sure. Yeah, probably the most honest I've ever been. Uh, and if like if you as we said there, if suicide is something that you don't like hearing about, it's affected your family, then probably would skip that part. Yeah. To be fair. Now, if you're struggling with your own journey, with your own life, then look, we are our DMs are always open. You'll see posts like this online and and yeah, it's okay. But if you choose to listen to this podcast, you probably you've heard our stories, you have a bit of a relationship with us. We might not know necessarily you um or too much about you, but it doesn't mean we're not open to learning. So don't sit there and struggle. Reach out to us. Our our DMs are always open and, and we're here to help at the end of the day. Yeah. We also have free guides, free lower back guide, free workout program. You know the score if you've listened to us before. If you don't and you're finding us for the first time, see that we five-star rating wherever you're listening to us. Fucking hit Check it. it. Check, Check it, it out. It. Um, we're nearly at 100 fucking five stars, which is fantastic. So we love this. We, we thank you for the support that you're giving us. So without further ado, let's get into today's episode. See, when you use your phone, you actually look like an old da. Fuck off. <laughs> That's what I was, uh, I was just sitting anyway, like, angry there. See, like, messaging loads of people on my phone. I hate it, mate. I hate being on my phone like that. Don't, I just don't, don't get it. Like, so I, I, I never got around to messaging everybody through my comp. Did you know? Nah. I actually feel sorry for those who I never actually messaged. I was thinking about this the other day because I think we were saying it on one of the podcasts. Aye. How that, how messaging all those clients did actually get my books full and Yeah. And if you think about it, only 30% of them got the benefit. But if anyone else has followed us since then, they're like, I never get a message. How Aye. the fuck did I not get a message? Aye. So it was nothing personal. You just, you weren't in the ATB. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I need, actually need to change up the way I do check-ins because I'm doing check-ins with my, like, A's, B's and C's are all in my first line of check-ins. So I go through everybody. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Right, right, right. And, get to uh, the end of like, 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 like Victoria that I've got, always last. Uh, yeah, always last. Tasha, second last. Cause <laughs> it's just the way the names All the it. time. I need to reverse engineer that a wee bit. Do you... Um, so when I came back from my holiday, one of the main things was I need to have a work structure that I do not go away from. That's how, like, when we've got this podcast, when we're, like, up to date with podcasts, I'm, like, I'm doing check-ins first thing in the morning, I'm getting them out of the way. Yeah. It's not that I hate... I love seeing people checking in and they're smashing it. But it gets so fucking tedious. Yeah. Do you know, Hank? I don't know, man. I, I, I'm always buzzed after doing check-ins. I'm always that. buzzed after it, but there's something about got to do it. In the afternoon, it's I'm like... hurdle. I always do mine. I do mine after our Monday morning podcast. Do you? So from... I don't actually start at 11. I think I start from 12 till... So I done them first thing this morning. I was like, great. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. They were all done. I was like, bless. So I'm doing something different with my check-ins just now. I'm trialing it to see if it works. So... Every time a client is booking in their sessions, I'm putting it in my diary as well. So right. I get a reminder. Like I can see that, for example, um, 
Ailey, for example, I put in my diary that she was going to the gym yesterday and on the lead up to that, I can engage in conversation and stuff like that. I'm not going to so, do it with... So your diary? I'm just, I've am just i got them to share their diaries with me right. or book their session in on the calendar on Trainer Eyes. So I've that. just started doing that as well yeah. because... Uh, it's just good to see. Because we're moving up, like, you're kind of, you've moved away completely if you want to one, and I'm like thinking like it's the best. I'll get a handful here. Yeah, Aye, yeah. but it's the best if they come to you and they're like, properly learning the one-to-one sessions and then they do the rest yourself. Yeah. And I was like, so Amanda was like, I don't know, just don't know how I, how I can train myself. And I'm like, get it in the, get it in the calendar and I'm going to be watching that calendar. I was like, I will watch it. So I have been like, and as you say, they schedule it, they, they schedule it in right. front of me and I go, right, I'm going to look at this. Mm-hmm. And I look at it, and then but it, and it makes such a difference. And we, we speak about it all the time, putting that in planning your and all around. that. And then you're like, right, why don't we help the client do that? So I done that, um, and it's funny. Well, I've already said her name, but the person I was talking about last time was was Ailey, and how she can skip some exercises and that. So I'm like, right, let's build a program together. So we sat down on Tuesday. What did you do? That? We built a program. I was like, give me exercises, and I was telling her why we would we would start with like compound movements. My thought process that goes into um picking certain movements the style of a full body workout maybe increasing the sets um how many sets to do within the week and all that sort of stuff she was like this is never really thought about it that that way mm-hmm. um and then she got her session in on herself on thursday and I, honestly this must be the first time this year that i've went through a workout she's done everything, done everything. <laughs> and i was like ah, right cool it's the first time though we'll see how that momentum <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. so i'm gonna message us today follow up on that um but I, that's one of the occasions where i'm like i'll follow up every time someone's there yeah but thursday was mental and i seen it pop on my phone i was like yeah she's done that right but i need to get better at just messaging for the couple of seconds that it takes to message um and i need to get better at structuring my calendar i think because i'm I've I just wing it. Well, for your week. Mm-hmm. So really this Sunday, it. like, wasn't well last week. But when I was on holiday, I was like, when I go back, my, the only way that I can work properly is if I have everything scheduled. Mm. So I seen Alex, and I was like, fuck, man. It was like lunch. He schedules in meal one, meal two, meal three, and I was like, I need to do that. Because if you eat four times a day. That's going to take out time you don't realise is there. See, I, I never schedule that stuff and I never have a problem with it. But I've never but scheduled I'm, it, so I couldn't tell you that. But imagine if you did just scheduled everything, how probably efficient you'd be. See, you think that, but I think for a lot of people, me specifically, when I schedule my whole day like that, I hate it. It's too... Regimented. It's too regimented. Too regimented. And I think that it, it's so person dependent. I think a lot of people benefit from it. Um, when I made a stab at it before, I fucking cause this is how I used to schedule my corporate world. I like because it was calls, your calls here, and I was like, right, I'm going to block out lunch here, and then the call would bleed over, and as I like, right, the lunch is not there, and it just be, it just became a fucking shit show, man. Um, I've not actually done it in the self-employed world. I do like lists and going right. Here's everything I want to bounce off today. Um, it's a different strategy. I kind of write my list out because I go right. What's the, what stuff I need to do in the house? Yeah. What stuff I need to do in my business? What stuff I need to do for myself? That's what I'm going to do a little, a little bit more of. Pleasure. Ple- I, mate, I need me a pleasure in my life. Like, absolutely. <laughs> Left hand masturbation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's that? Oh, it's me. Stranger it's fucking danger. me. Stranger danger. Take uh, your glasses off. <laughs> definitely need more pleasure, but I have time for that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I was, I, like, I don't know. Like, seeing you write down all your clients, you're like, I can handle that, no bother. Yeah. But seeing you don't write it down, it fucks you up. I know. How I know. strange is it? Oh, mate. I've How fu- strange? Uh, when you don't write it. something down, you overthink it, and then you write it down, you go, what the fuck am I overthinking? Oh, mate. So if it's not on the calendar, I end up missing it. Same. And Same. I've been pretty good at being on top. And I'm like, oh, I knew I had a call with, um, a structured call with um, one of my clients this morning, building out his meal calorie, ca- calendar. Uh, his calories and stuff like that. And I'll talk through that in a wee minute because um, this was this was really good at what we've done today. Um, but I had a, a said to, I trained three sisters, right? Right. And I said to all three of them, have a call with you here, here, and here, right? In my head, I was like, I'll book that in, but I never booked that in, right? Can the three the three sisters I had in the same day, done the first sister, second sister, and even on the second sister call, I was like, I'm phoning your other sister in the next hour, whatever. And you forgot. And I uh, was going to bed, brushing my teeth. And I was like, fuck. So I messaged, because I knew she was going to do the rest of the week. And I was like, I'm so sorry, but I've got a really good relationship. I've been training her for, for six months now, and um, we have a call every week. And I knew she was going away, so she was like, look, it would have been 
I, I wouldn't have been able to go on the call for so much longer, but I fucking hate that, man. That's see, like double booking a PT session. I see booking calls in your calendar, I think it's the most stressful. Why? I don't know, because maybe because I'm here, there and everywhere. Because uh, I can't take a call on JD. Oh. Like, because there's people, and there's nowhere really for me secluded. Still am, would you know that? I uh, probably I've, I've I've actually took this like different mentality. Like I done a consultation just, just, call. Just be you. Just, just like, it's like look, I want to have this call with you. Right. I'm driving to Dundee just now, so I'm going away for my birthday. Right, weekend. right, right, right. This is a consultation call aye. with a potential new client. Aye, for, aye, and I was like, look, really sorry if you can hear the noise in the car, but I didn't want to leave it until over the weekend. Aye, aye. Like no, 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 that's fine. Most people are understanding anyway. Right, I'm going to do that. And cool. I actually find taking action now prolong uh, doesn't prolong the fucking journey because I could have waited till Monday. I was gubbed when I came back. Um, I had sessions booked in on Monday, but I don't know if I would have had the same energy that I brought to go. And I was like, I'm feeling good. And I said to John, When something's fresh, you're like, I'm Aye. loving this. When you wait a little bit, you get more anxious about it. More. Aye. Even if it's something you've done 10 million times. I know, I know, I know. So I know I've been booking all my calls. I've, on um, If you use the app Trainer Eyes, you can set an appointment, your own appointments. Aye. And I've set it to like 30 minute. Um, For James McGinty or Dale Consultation Crosser. call or whatever I've Aye. called it. Um, but consultation is for my online peeps. Um, so, I, what was I going to say there? Oh, we're in October, aren't we? So, mm -hmm. you're paying full rent in JD now? Yeah. Does that hurt? Are you no. Thing? Is that all right? Good? No. So, we've not spoke about like you transitioning from hours to uh, like full time. The end of this year is just me. I'm happy just floating, like making a little bit extra than I need to. But in January, and like it's like go time. Do you know what I mean? I'm happy to know. I know December's the hardest time. If I can get me a clients, I'll, I'll take them. But what I'm making sure is I need to write a couple more programs to make sure that, like, right now I've got a solid first three months for every single client that I'm super happy with. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Then I need to build the next three and the next three. And then I need, I, I, I've got somebody coming on who's, like, more bodybuilding style, but brand new. And I was like, you know what? I can do that. So I'm going to write a brand new bodybuilding. Like, I'm going to make sure that I've got a lot of different program styles ready. Yeah, and that means because I could take on a lot of people, but I don't think I would be happy with the long term aspect of it just yet. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Nah, for sure. I'm really happy with how check ins go. I'm really happy with how like accountability is. I'm really happy with how the nutrition structure is. But I would rather some more extra programs in place. And obviously, sure. we're working on that thing as well. Yeah, I think so. That's I, the next I, I want to get a wee bit better at marketing. I mean, like, I honestly, people don't realize how fucking much marketing's involved in PT. Everything. Aye, but everything as well. No, I agree with everything, but PT, because you're like, oh, PT, it's just, you're on the gym floor and you get people. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. It's not quite as simple as that. No. Um, I, you know, you need to market yourself. You're always, it's your business, it's your it's your brand, it's your pride, it's everything. And do you know what I was thinking? I was like, fuck that. I make more money than I did my last job and I'm like, I'm like oh. oh, did you? That's quite a good, that's a fucking awesome achievement. I know, I was like, right, stop fucking being so hard on yourself. See, when you, because I remember that part, I was like, it, it sort of, there's always self-doubt, I always talk about this all the time, but I was on a, I was on a pretty good fucking salary in my corporate world and I was like, no chance PTs can fucking make that money. And see, when I did that, one of the months that I broke, broke it. Ah, yeah, you're like, holy shit aye, aye. and then i started to realize cause, like if you get a 10 grand pay rise and work i think it, what does it equate to on your pay slip it's like maybe an extra grand ish after taxes and stuff like depending on your tax no bracket. less but you know i will whatever it is depending on your pension your taxes student loans and all that sort of stuff yeah and then um i thought about like the times where i had five percent pay rises ten percent pay rises fifteen percent i was like fuck this is class and then it's funny when you break that down that that would be a quarter of a client's payment. A quarter of an extra client's payment a month would give you that same 10% bo bonus ah, <laughs> that yeah, you would get. Um, insane, mate. And, and that's the fun thing about the business side of things because it's is. sort of untapped to what but you can earn. It is. Because I was. <laughs> I, I, it is harder because I was saying to somebody, I was like, I can't even mind who I was talking to, but they were like, I need to do more overtime to make this amount. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I just need to work harder. Aye. They need to work more. I need, we need to work more as well. Yeah, we they, need to work harder. Yeah. And I think there's a, I don't know, like, I'm just going to be talking shite, but I, I remember working hard in overtime and doing more overtime and feeling shite. But I don't feel. I think it depends on the job, but some places you don't even get overtime. So if you're ah, yeah, in a management job, you're relying on that bonus and your appraisal. And it's, I, I don't know. I think 
I wouldn't say it's hard done, it's just different, right? And and in, in reality, you still get your wage at the end of the day. Even if you don't get a bigger bonus, you're getting something unless you've royally fucked up over the over the years. I was going to say, here's a big society, and I've, I've seen this like with a lot of people. As soon as you, you have a set salary with a little overtime and you start living above your means, you're fucked. This was the biggest problem. You are single. so fucked. Open Reach have a, when wouldn't they say untapped overtime, but there's a lot of guys for a lot of time throughout the year that they would be doing overtime left, right and centre. And it, mate, I'm not even kidding, you make it upwards of an extra few grand. Maybe not a few grand, but you make it above a grand and over a grand a for, month. For, for a month on top of your salary, right? Like you said, these guys start living above their means. And it's like any operational business. Um, needs to and, cut. And, this, and as a senior manager, you need to manage your overtime budget. Mm. And there'll be times towards the end of the financial year where they say, nobody's allowed to travel. No meetings and fucking traveling down south, so you get your expenses. Keep expenses low, keep overtime budget low, right? People used to flip their shit, and I had to have this conversation. I'm like, they're fucked. Your 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 salary is this. Yes, it, uh, look, I'm grateful that you've been fucking working hard and busting your ass, but there's no budget there. That's ho- that's holiday money. Aye. That's no car and aye. your actual daily that's expenses it, that's how money. Sam sees it. I think Sam, he fucking graphs overtime. If I, I, I honestly think. Uh, I, I'm, I've not been an open reach in, in like two years now, and I've never like as a good mate, one of my one of my closest friends, seen him bust his ass off and what he does in overtime. And he's like, like it's easy to him because he's he's a fucking great engineer, but that's very easy to rely on that all the time because it's just habit. He's on call it. He goes home, phone rings at two in the morning. Nay, hey, that I'll be there. Money. And that's it. I think, is it a three hundred pound or hundred pound call? I can't remember what it is, but it's every good. time he's answering that phone, he's making money, right? Mm-hmm. And it'd be great to go every time that phone rings, it's a brand new client. Every time I get a like on that video, it's a brand new client. So it's hard to compare the two because they're completely different. But in terms of the control we have over our money, it's certainly much more. So I'm, I'm paying Louis to do all the YouTube shorts for us and the uh, the short chapters of like we segments from the, from the podcast. Um, he's doing stuff for some of the other guys who hire at the podcast studio I gave him 100 quid a month class and then I've given him up to 200 quid a month and I said to him like during the week I was like if you had to get like an extra 200 pound your salary what would you have to do he's like that's about fucking six grand pay rise he said I'll get to that increment at a time over the next six years Just and I was this. like and you're doing a couple of hours of work extra a week for me so I hope he I, I'm confident he's going to get better at that skill Aye. I think he already realises but I think he the thumbnails not are good the cups are good Aye, he's, doing well. he's doing he's doing really well so as he gets better at that that admin skill it's, I've, I've said time and time before on the podcast it's the next sort of strategic hire Aye. for the business part of the studio that mm. I'm going to do um, so I people, so people, people probably hear us talk about money but if you're making a lot of money for for an extended time if it's consistent you're a good coach. Do you know what I mean? Aye. You're making more money than most coaches for, like a lot of coaches can make quick money. I've seen this. So you see with like the the mentorships injections. They have massive injections, and then people are like, "You're not that good. You've marketed to me. They know it. They know it, and they'll leave, and they'll tell everybody else they're not that good. By the way, whereas if you've a good coach and you've took your time to learn all this. Then you start making money, but these people from it's the same so- in personal training. Aye, you don't give a, a crap about your clients. As soon as your brand reputation's done, you're done. You're done. It's fit well. You're not done. It's a hard. I've seen guys come round from it. To be fair, um, but it's an uphill battle for mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. Um, this weekend's pretty exciting. Logan Paul, KSI, fucking Dylan Danis. Could not give a fuck. No, man. I'm, could, I'm excited for this. Not, I honestly could not. Who do you think's gonna win? They're all KSI, fucking bellends, mate. KSI or Tommy Fury? Tommy Fury. Right, and what about Logan Paul, Dylan Danis? Logan Paul. You've seen Dylan Danis been roasting his... Mate. I don't know what's going on there, man. That is wild. Aye, his missus... Uh, she's, she's obviously been up to no good before. <laughs> so what is, this is a wee bit controversial. i seen... What is that podcast where the guy's in and he's got like 10 birds around him and he's just roasting them all? Uh, it's like roasted. It, no, is it fat and fresh? Something like it's that. It's fit and fresh, mate. Is it? F- I can't. I don't know what it's called. I'm sure it's called the Fit and Fresh podcast. But that one of their clips popped up for me the other day, and it was a woman who was an ex porn star, and she was saying to the guy who hosts it, "She's like, I really fancy you. I'm, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm I've madly seen this. in love with you. Can we? Can would we never go on a date? And he's like, I can't. He says, I can't bring myself to do Aye. like to that. And she's like, But that's like I made mistakes in the past. That's my history. Aye. My history shouldn't matter. 
do you think the history matters going into a relationship with absolutely someone? you think so absolutely so i remember speaking to you about this would you want to know the history is another question nah <laughs> nah that uh similar to that one it's the other guy it's, the, it's like a white guy oh whatever we, podcast uh, whatever I oh mate so that was, is the most fried it was him that was getting hit on with us with i've seen it i've seen it actually good looking girl on that but ex-porn star and she's like no i'm I, those days are gone there's a level there's a level to what you're looking for do you know what i mean like this is why i think only fans is very dangerous mate because I, you're putting your I would never, Buddha out there for online for that's not for me mm. that's not for me I would never buy OnlyFans I would never I mean I've probably watched it years ago <laughs> right Only? what do you mean watch it like porn like I know but like you mind back in the day you would find like there was like OnlyFans leaks no and you'd oh, go and leaks, you, you'd you go say, and find them you go you said yes. leaks <laughs> no no people would leak all the OnlyFans you go on them and go yes I don't know I think I missed the wave of OnlyFans I didn't realise it was that old Aye, it's been, it's been around for a while. I know it's been a bit, I didn't think it hit over here. But you always know it's like, oh, such and such for high schools get OnlyFans now. And you're like, what? Aye, what? mate. What? What, the <laughs> what is fuck? going on? But, mate, I, I think history does matter. History does matter because history is going to be the person you are, no matter, like, you're going to have traits from your past, no matter what. And if you put yourself in a lot of certain situations, in a lot, a lot, a lot, then you're. <laughs> is that hang? Is that quite hang? That's all right. It's all right. And uh, if you've got a lot, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, man. What's your thoughts? This is two guys talking here. <laughs> so I, I'm very open about this, by the way. No, I've, I know, I, I know. And it, it's controversial, but at the same time, there are conversations that we can't shy away from because it's not that you're right or wrong. It's just that's your opinion. Aye. I that's, I, more, that is it. I th think this, that, is, I think, this is what I say to people. I say, this is my opinion for my life. Now, would See, you be open to hearing the opposing view, though? That's the important thing. Aye. I mean, but they all say it, and I go, I don't agree with you. Mm. I don't agree with you. But th this is, when I say this to, to girls, right, I go, if they've got a really high body count, it's not for me. And girls go, but you can do it. I'm like, I don't have a high body count, but thank you for thinking I do. <laughs> right? I, I genuinely appreciate that you think that I do, but I don't. So it's not about... So it's not about girls having a high body count. It's the person that you're wanting to attract. Couldn't they give a, a higher body if, count than yourself? Yes. No, no, myself. No, no higher they, than yourself. If they've a, a wee bit higher than me, totally fine. There's there's a level to the game. Do you know what I mean? There's a level. If if a girl's got higher than me, I wouldn't say I'm super high. And I would probably say a lot of guys would probably look at what I'm looking at and go, "That's way too high." Which I would say, like, look, we live in a world where. Sex is way more openly available than it ever has been. Social media, like you don't have to exactly. talk to somebody. You, you don't just slide into DMs. Just slide into DMs and bang, bang, bang. So go on a date. So if you look back then, you would say like five's a lot. Like I wouldn't say five. If somebody said to me they were on seven, I go is that. Do you get me? Mm -hmm. Whereas a lot of people go seven. Mm, no too sure. And I go, mate, what planet do you live on where you think seven's no a lot at twenty six years old? Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's no a lot. And I know people are like, fucking hell. But I would say, like, a wee bit higher than me is fine. But there's a levels to the game. And I've been lied to before. <laughs> and you find out quickly because the, 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 the way they act. Do you know, so do you think that's why you don't want to know the history? Because you said history matters, but I don't want to know the history. A bit contradictory. <sighs> do you think deep down? Because what you don't know, you don't know. You're in a relationship. I think when you, I think when you, I think when you truly like love someone, and you you found out that you like, like I love this person, then it wouldn't matter as much. I don't know. There's there's levels. It's there's levels. Because I, I would I would go in. and I'd go. Why 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 is it that high? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? What were you up to? And they they might actually be able to go. I was in. I was. This has happened to me when I was this, and then I end up like this, and I went like, and I went and got help. And I'm not with that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to do a very, very... Just keep digging, mate. Just keep digging. It's the truth. It's oh. the truth. And I don't give a fuck if you're not going to... I mean, you can do what the fuck you want. Do you know what I mean? Like, we know fucking... I, I know guys on hunters. I know girls on fucking close to hunters. Do you know what I mean? That's why I think, why does it matter? Because... I know, you, why, I know why it matters to you, but if you were that guy... Because this is the argument that the guy... 
think the guy in the show was uh, whatever this was about. You're genuine. You mentioned that something that he'd been with like it was it was like seventy people. Which is a lot, I would say. I was fucking huge, man. Aye, aye. <laughs> I was just, remember I'm tiny relationship, right? Aye, so aye, aye. It, Completely different, but I'm like, fucking hell, that's a lot. But then the argument was that she was, I don't know if it was OnlyFans or she'd done porn. And she's like, mine's is more than that, but it's not too far off. Why is it different between the two? No, expo- no exposing yourself, so, but putting yourself out there. I'll be it. honest, a guy with a high body count is going to struggle in a relationship just as much as a girl with a high body count. So. 100%. Mm. I don't have a high body count, do you? <laughs> no. No, exactly. <laughs> people <laughs> <One>. <laughs> People think I have this high body count and it like it's because of the, I'm pure boisterous and that. But mate, I would have thought you were a virgin when I met you. Don't kid yourself. Ah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> but at the same time, like it's no high and but I honestly think that the, these boys like, the boys I know who are pure shaggers cannot maintain a relationship at all. Uh, I've seen it in, and um, girls will be for the exact same reason so if I was gay <laughs> I couldn't get with somebody who slept with eight people either <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean there's no a sexist <laughs> thing fair point I don't know how we got into that <laughs> I don't about, know how we got into that KSI and, oh, I was talking about ah, Logan he's Paul's missies, missies. He's missies. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that unfolds aye he, he went after her he did he, he was some wild stuff he's been saying I don't know how I'd feel if you've got the way I feel about Jillian, if somebody was talking about Jillian like that to me, I'd fucking lose my shit. I wouldn't be able to keep it cool. Nah. I'd, I'm not even kidding, mate. See the stuff that Dylan Downs has been? He, I'd kill he, him. He must, I, would, I would go to jail for he, it. He must have knew this was coming, though. But it's the whole celebrity world that's all fucked. What he must have knew, though. Logan? Aye, so? Logan. He must have knew that that, 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 was, that was what was going to be said. So now and he's probably these, had a barrier up before. Well, there's all these conspiracy theories for the, the moment that logan proposed and they're like there's like a uh, relationship experts where they read body language and that and she pulls back and they're, they're breaking down the video and i'm just like man that's fucked no that's, I, y- that's y- all y- fucked mate see if somebody videoed your your engage uh your what's it called proposal proposal uh, that, aye and then they're breaking it down you'd be like ah, fuck you you're a fucking dick exactly so I just, i'm i'm looking forward to the whole i I'm not a big sports fan anyway. I don't like watching sports, but see, like, the whole content creation YouTuber side of things. Oh, aye. Because I, I follow KSI for years. I think KSI's going to win. I honestly do. Do you? Maybe a wee bit controversial. Maybe, I maybe don't. a bit different. To I it. don't. Um, I can. I hope he does. I don't think he will. I don't think he will. But he, if he doesn't, because I still watch his videos, right? Oh, man. He's fucked. Huh? <laughs> The stuff that he's been doing, he's been reacting to like Tommy Fury, and he's saying like to the camera, he's like he's very confident in his ability, and I love that. I honestly, I love the. Do you think KSI's well. in steroids? Nah, Logan Paul is. Logan's I. I Logan think, Paul is mate. He's in the WWE. He needs to compete with all these guys. Aye. You've seen. Have you seen his transformations? It's it's mad. And, he, and the thing he's is, known at so it. Somebody made a very good point about his physique. That when you start training for boxing, you don't add muscle. No. And he's added a crazy amount of muscle. He's fucking jacked. He's huge. I, I can only imagine he's well bigger in person than he looks on these videos. Yeah. Because he, is he taller than KSI? KSI is mm-hmm. just shy six foot. But Aye, he's a bit six foot too. So that's what, like, so do you think Dylan's on steroids? I think all. Do you think they are? I, I genuinely think all professional sports athletes do something. No, but here's my thing with it. This is an exhibition, right? So if. Logan Dylan Dallas is a UFC fighter as well. Aye, he's a jiu jitsu. Jiu jitsu. Jiu jitsu black belt. Jiu jitsu black belt. Aye. Uh, so, but if KSI is on steroids, then. No, if Wait, Logan Paul's on steroids, then do they say, look, he's on steroids, by the way? You go on them. Do you know what I mean? To make I, it fair? I, How do you make it fair? I, I don't know, man. I was talking to this. Because if somebody's on steroids, they're smashing the guy who's no. Aye. So I never really gave as long as they much, can fight. much thought because uh, American football players do it. Oh, fuck aye. Football players do it. Oh, fuck aye. Um, Did you see Paul Pogba get caught? Who? Paul Pogba. Who's that? Oh, that my football person? God. Like, he's, he's big. He used to play for Man United. That that, he used to play for Man United. He used to play for Ju- soccer. Juventus. <laughs> soccer, man. He got caught uh, by Juventus. What did he? Yep, for oh. dome. And then they, they found in his B samples. So they took two samples. Testosterone. Caught. Oh, wow. Banned for, he's getting banned for four years. Right, so I never, I never... Not that I didn't think it was a big deal but I was speaking to Scott when he was around what uh, steroids and combat sport 
So I so so I didn't know that I didn't think it was a big deal. I just thought people fucking do it, right? Mm -hmm. And he says, I fucking hate that people do it. And he goes, I don't. I think any sport doesn't matter as much. But if you're in a combat sport where you're fighting people. against other people, and I never really thought about it that way, and I was like, fuck, man. So it's not just integrity on the line. Like you, like I think he was talking. Who was he? Who was he talking with that? Get caught boxing. He get caught being on steroids. And he was a boxer, and then. He managed to flip the card, get his card back, and then he was fighting in a year or two's time. I'm completely butchering this story. I don't know who the guy is. Apologies. I'm you talk about a kickboxer, Alex Alexander Overeem. It might have been him. Couldn't tell you. Guy mate. from Ireland. So right. he used to fight in kickboxing, and he was a fucking maniac. Mm -hmm. And then he went to the UFC and obviously downsized because... No, no. So he, he fought in the same thing, I'm sure. But right. what Scott was saying is he was obviously clean for the next fight. And he had no power. He aye. was like one punches in previous fights. Aye, aye. He was knocking people out with punches in this next fight. He was hitting the guy about eight or nine times. The guy wasn't even budging. The yeah. guy was just taking the shots because of the power. Go on. Shot. It's not just aesthetics. It's, it's the main thing is performance. I've, I can tell you firsthand, like even being on a TRT dose, that I can get away with more in terms of the stress overload from work. Right, aye, aye. I've seen a huge amount of performance in that workouts and muscle mass. Yes, there's little added benefits there, but. It's no, it's no it's as much system. as ah, it's no as much as what you would think. So, I, I don't, I don't, I don't believe KSI is on it. I generally don't because he's, I don't know. I, I honestly don't think he is. No, and it's, it's hard to communicate like why I wouldn't, why did I not think that about Logan? I don't so watch his Scott stuff. Scott was a kickboxer, wasn't he? Kickboxer and then boxing. He'll be talking about he'll be talking about uh, Alexander Overeem and Badia. I can't remember his second name, but they were like. They were like at the top of the kickboxing game, but they were just to the fucking gills. And they were like close to killing cunts every fight. And then they were like, they had to come off it. And they could, they just, they weren't there to it anymore. Do you think UFC, UFC guys are on it? Absolutely. Oh, John Jones got caught for it. So, how did they not get stripped of fighting ever again? Aye, because it's, you're a lethal weapon. You're already a lethal weapon with your fighting I skills as it is. You're the top fucking animal on the planet and then you're enhancing yourself to become an even more... you know how you feel when you're in animal state? Mm. When you're in that fucking... They're in that state pumped up. Oh my God. Man, look at Conor McGregor. Mate. People try to tell me he's no juicing. He's fucking, fucking doing everything. Get fucked, But that's man. scary when he's walking about like full of coke, full of steroids, but he's also a fucking maniac. He's hilarious, man. He's hilarious, but... I so I, I I genuinely don't believe KSI is I, I don't know I'm I'm a fanboy hey, hey, KSI I fucking will always watch his stuff and well, do you think Tommy Fury's in steroids? Aye, do you? Well, then again, he's he's a big guy. I don't think he's in steroids, so I think they I I, I genuinely think that they player. would say Dylan, look, he's on steroids by the way, like but in the background. They would probably go, by the way, Logan is taking steroids, don't say anything. But it's also a misunderstanding what steroids do, and I think for see for Dylan to jump them on on a twelve week camp prep. He would be more fucked up doing it because he's he, no he, used to. He, he, no used to. He can't handle the. There's like a learning curve with it as well. So, like, if you gain five five pounds of muscle mass on yourself, right, your whole demeanor has changed. Yeah, how you walk, your leverage is how you, I, how you throw a punch, how you stance, how you how you're how you're on your feet. Yeah, like that's not a smart strategy just to do. And I think yes, you get more power from it if you're experienced with it. But fuck knows, man. I just got to be interesting. I'm, I'm going. I'm not going to watch it. I'm going to watch the highlights the next day. No, I'm not going to watch it either. Fuck that. It's UK time anyway. Ah, I'll be watching the knockouts. You wins. <laughs> <laughs> that's all so, I would watch. Um, but I, it's it's just mad. I love all the trash talking that behind it. I don't, mate. You don't? I think it's a lot of shit. So cringy. So fucking. It's, so, it's not even true, did mate. Did you see John walking? So, did you see the cage? Ah, uh, he's like. <laughs> he's punching this glass uh, thing. And I'm like, fucking hell, man. There's some solid foundations in that cage. I actually genuinely believe that cunt's no right, though. Oh, he's off. He's not. Mate, he's no right. No, he's, he's, he's fucked. Just a uh, fucking. If you had to look up the word gypsy, he would come up. <laughs> <laughs> he's just to a T. To his bone, just and that, and the thing I like, the thing that I do like about him, wholeheartedly is himself. Right? Oh, every <laughs> time, give a fuck every time, about anything else, press, money, release, it's always going to be who he is. I'm surprised him and Tyson haven't killed somebody. Uh, well, you think? <laughs> I mean, don't know. <laughs> don't know. Like, imagine in a street fight, you fuck walk up to the two of them and piss them off. Nah. Like you're fucked. See if he didn't know. See if he wasn't famous. He would be in way more fights than he is, man. Because you, you would look at them and go, who the fuck are you speaking to? Bang. Bang. Um, funny story. I was in getting my hair cut yesterday, right? And this guy walks in. 
like really overweight guy, right? And he's he sits down and he's talking to the guys cut my hair and he goes like that. Had to move house, man, because it was either move house or go to jail. I'm like, what? How was this happening? Basically, he had a neighbour, young guy, would always bring the boys back, party session, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Noise complaint, noise complaint, phone the police, phone the police, when they do anything. So he smashed the glass bottle to the guy's throat. And then the police basically gave him out and he was like, you need to move or this, no, no, that you need to move. I think they said like, if this keeps going the way it is, we're going to have to get a court order, blah, 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 blah. Um, but he's telling and you would look at this guy and you would like, he's not fighting anything. Any cunt. But it just shows you that his appearance and physique do not translate well to the fighting status. So this is, this is, this is what I got told one time and I was like, I'm scared of you. So I was, uh, the guy was like, look, so his brother was a pro pro boxer, right? And he's like, my brother can fight the fuck. I can't really fight. But I was like, I can pick up a bottle and I can slash you with it. And he's like, that's how you win a fight. You don't win fights throwing punches. You pick up whatever's there and you smash it after fucking heat. Yeah. This guy wasn't lying. You and I was tell. like, that's actually quite a good point. I'm going to use that. <laughs> I'm going to use that. I'm going to pretend that I would even do that. But like, see when you hear somebody who would actually do that, you're like... So I, I think about this a what lot, the right? This fuck? Is, maybe this is just guy's mind. In fact, I need to ask you a question. You seen this TikTok trend? How often do you think about the Roman Empire? Mate, I never. Really? What? I watch Viking shows in that. So oh my why. god, you, you would. No, you fucking I would, mate. I think about it in that sense, like fuck, man. Think of the world back in that time. I like, never think that. And the never. And all that sort of Somebody put this, a few people put us in a story. And I just said never because I just don't understand it. What, what, how do you think about it all the time? When I'm watching these types of shows, my anime and stuff like that goes you back what? to like ancient oh, fucking does it? history and all that, and you think, well, that's right, man. Like and that was like that might, back then. It might be a scene where they're fucking pillaging villages and that, and I'm like, man, fucking so. Imagine that happened today, and I'm looking at my window, and I'm like, imagine a big fucking wave of guys. Do you hang up? And I'm like, what? What would they grab in the kitchen? Right? I thought this was just false. No, so I, I, I but I think I, w- I don't know if I would think about that sort of stuff if I wasn't watching the stuff that I watch. Right, right, right. That leads me on to my next thing. So you said you're going to use the whole glass and stabbing someone do you think you would act when it comes push comes to shove that you would be able to stab somebody don't ask me where this podcast is going today what? <laughs> we have some fitness stuff that we'll get onto in a wee minute but because if have you seen some of those like best score videos and stuff like ah, that yeah, where yeah, you, you physically see someone get stabbed it is if there's no consequences i it, it looks horrendous if there's no like i've had like was promised i wasn't going to go to jail in what world do you think you're not going to jail for stabbing somebody? No, I know, I know, I know. That's the only reason why I've been when, when push comes to shove, like somebody's robbing your house or somebody's in your I space. I would kill them. Do you think you, you would do whatever it takes to kill I them? I was telling this story to a client the other day because it was like somebody chapped on my door at like 12 at night. I mean, somebody chapped on my door at like half 12 at night, but it was a Just Eat guy, but I didn't know. And I, <laughs> I was shaking myself. I was like, who the fuck's at my fucking door? So I picked up a knife. I was storming at the other side of the door. If, if, if whoever I was at the other side of the door came in, I was fucking doing them. But don't get me wrong, mate, I was up to high door and I was shaking uh, myself. But I, like, I could hear something outside, but I was like, who? But this was like when I just moved into my house maybe three, four months. Hmm. And I was like, who the fuck is at my fucking door? Do you know what way? I was just went, I was like storming at the other side, but like, I don't know if I would have done anything, but I was storming there like that, just Shame. shaking. I was like, ah! <laughs> and then I heard him chat the other door and he's like, oh, hang me. I was like, oh, that's fucking double guy. <laughs> That's so funny. I get into a fucking altercation uh, driving up to Dundee. I meant to tell you this. Oh, did you? So I'm not even driving, mate. This is the wildest thing, right? We're driving. Jelly, well, sorry, Jelly's driving. I'm in the passenger seat. We turn out my street. Turn right. A guy's flying up and then slams in the brake because he's going too fast, right? Jelly's like, fucking hell, you see the speed of him? And I'm like, ah, whatever, on my phone. And then Jelly goes, he's driving right up Mars. A guy driving a van with his fucking typical fucking working. I work eye. <laughs> and I'm like, ah. It's not that close. Anyway, overtakes. Jillian puts the window there. I'm like, I don't even get a chance to react to him. And I look down and he's like, I've not got a problem with you. I've got a problem with him. What's he waving his hands for? I'm like, what the fuck have I got to do? So I get hyped up instantly. So who the fuck you talking to? Blah, 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 blah. And the guy drives away. And I'm like, ah, what the fuck? Have you seen that video where the guy's fight arguing and he points to the guy in the back seat and he goes, what are you looking at, you fat fuck? Like, aye, 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 aye. That was like what happened. Aye, aye. Like, what the fuck did I do there? I've done nothing wrong. By that, like, see, I'm no felt adrenaline like that in a wee while. I was like, when he hit somebody, uh, <laughs> I was like, mate, yeah, you, you do, <laughs> you do. But see, this age or the older that you get, and you realise that people no are mental Aye. and will pick up a bottle and stab you. Yeah. 
I wonder if that is all over the world. Well, I guess in America they've got guns. Worse, mate. Worse. <laughs> worse. Way worse. I will shoot you. Uh, the last time I got into an altercation, I parked outside somebody's house. And then I parked again and then I, I picked it up and I was turning around. And this guy walked up to my motor. And I was like, all right, mate. And he's like, fucking, fucking. I was like, get my fucking motor. I was like, if you fucking get my motor, I'll fucking punch your face. And he's like, oh, yeah. I was like, I fucking will, I. Jumped in your car. And he put, put his hang me in. And I was like, fucking, get me my fucking motor. I was like, I'll fucking, fu- I was like, I'll fucking punch so your funny. face. Like, the all the Americans and English listening to this will be like, what just happened there in terms of, you just go ultra, uh, like, ultra Scottish. Uh, aye, ultra aye, aye. It's like, what was that like? And he was like, pardon me, see my fucking house. And I was like, mate, there was no fucking other car parks. <laughs> And then he was like, right, right. And I was like, well, I, well, can you park anywhere else, mate? And he was like, right, right, right. right. I, and I, I explained something to him. He was like, right, I apologise. You're actually quite a nice boy, it seems. And I was like, right, mate, it's, it's all right. And we shook cons. And then he, he, he left. And, he was, and then he, he stopped me again. He's like, look, I really apologise for that. I was like, see, that's the power of saying sorry. Aye. See what I was saying about last so time. So that's take responsibility. So see, the next time How I seen many... him, I was like, all right, mate. But... Our initial <laughs> hang me was we were going to punch fuck at each other because he lent him a motor. I was like, get my fucking motor. And he was like, fuck it, I'll come into my fucking motor if I want. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then it was like, sorry. I was like, here, it's all right, mate. He's like, I, genuinely, was, I was like, only parking outside your house because there's some deals parking, but I was like, I'll park up here. I was like, I'll find another spot. He's like, I would really appreciate that. And, he, and then it's he, all communication, mate. It was yeah. funny because he was walking up and his wife was like, fucking, she was obviously saying, say sorry to him. <laughs> And like as I was driving, he's like, "Look, I really apologise." Mate, I'm and I was like, like, "I was like, like it's fine, mate." I was like, I, "Like, I can understand you." And this is so I wasn't even going to bring this up, but this is where you think about all these people who go on impulse, they fight somebody, they mm. stab somebody, or whatever and they're happens, dead. and it leads to a death. And it's like, man, I could have easily been avoided if one your ego wasn't in the way. Usually, it's men because the fucking yeah. testosterone's high, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's how I met my my best mate Ross. Um, we find each other. He said I fancied this girl who I didn't, and this is so sad to think about, but she was a wee geek and we wasn't he? a pretty looking girl, right? <laughs> and I thought he was trying to slag me. He's like, oh, that Dale fancies him. I was just, and people are saying, oh, that Ross is going to be spreading rumours about you. And then somebody's like, he wants to fight you. And then he's like, tell me to meet you at the front gate. And then he was like, he went out the back gate. He's like, no, tell me to meet me at the back gate. So this is the two day visit in high school. So anyway, None happened. Did you ever go to the SCCC in high school? Aye, like for the seven, right? For the hang. Aye. So I remember Camby Primary School was next to us. And then my mates were like, there's that guy. And we're fucking staring at each other off as if we're going to fight. Sat down first day in high school. Register gets called out. Dale Crosser. Register the next person. Ross Crossan. We looked at each other. We've got the same name. <laughs> he's Cross R. He's Cross Anne. I'm Cross R. Aye. We became pals since then. That's how so we, fucking it's strange, so funny. Mate. It's like, because all these rumours, you're all hyped up. Aye. <laughs> Now it's funny that you're saying about this guy's wife telling him to say sorry. Aye. See the thing that I, the most one of the most embarrassing things that's ever happened to me while gaming was I've been getting abuse, dogs abuse to this guy. Right? <laughs> Jillian comes in. Stop saying these sweary words on that thing. Right? <laughs> Every person hears me. Yes. On the night, and I got roasted. Aye. I just quit. I like, Aye. I was like, don't you ever fucking tell me what to do in this <laughs> game? <laughs> so that guy must have been like Taylor between his legs. Like, okay. Uh, I know he, he was, he was, he was. Anyway, let's get on to some fitness talk, right? Fuck it, hell. We want to talk about. I don't know what did. Why? Oh, I can't. I was counting events, right? Aye. First, first half of this episode, forty-four minutes in. So we actually need to talk about this because it's fucking alarming that this is happening in this day and age. And we kind of touched on this before. My phone's just froze. Paige Hathaway. Is that is that how you say it? No, even just her, mate. To be fair. No, but is that how you say her name? Aye, Paige Hathaway. Aye. My phone's taking an absolute spaz. What's going on? Oh, what? Um, a spaz. <laughs> you're not allowed to say that. that is, I saw we're break. going, we're <laughs> off here. You're not allowed to say that? Nah, I said that the other time. I was like, oh. Oh, wait. I apologise if I have offended you. I called my, my client sent a little bit. I was like, oh, sorry, I didn't mean that. It's just, I don't mean any bad by it. Aye, aye, aye. It's just breaking down. It's not doing what I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> is, that what that, is that what they do aye <laughs> <laughs> oh my god digging a hole man this is this is a cancelled episode right Paige Hathaway is it yeah oh she's taking it down of course she's taking it down so Duh. essentially photoshop my pictures and not even that but she was selling a supplement trying to say that she looks like this because of this supplement yeah. right this is where our influencers do my fucking head in she's not you know I wouldn't say she's a fitness person she's a well, she's a fitness influencer right What's your thoughts on the whole situation? Go. We're already cancelled, so let it all out. Right, so... You stupid fucking stinky. <laughs> aye. 
Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, no, it's fucking shocking. It's terrible. It's fucking shocking. It's, I think it's one of the worst things. It's fucking embarrassing. If you, if anybody out there is editing their pictures, to what are you doing it for? Because like our first picture, she's a good looking girl. I know. She didn't Do you know what I mean? And she's, all, she, I, she's fucking already in great shape. She's not being accused of having implants or and surgery and everything. I thought she's so, got fake boobs. No boobs, a bum. Oh, has she been? I was accused was that right so i don't know about that anyway but anyway if it, it, it shows you the extent if they're going to do that mm -hmm. what else are they doing oh fucking lying about everything everything so it annoys me that what's this 1.2 million followers or is it more she'd mayor so you know oh, I, I can't even see the post anymore it's taken down oh i don't know i thought she had like four mil oh no it's still up so she is on 3.6 million uh, apologies fucking hell eh? so all these people following her looking up to her let's be honest there's a chunk of them that are creepy guys just oh so, um I, <laughs> just madness madness what are you gonna but, say there no, i was not gonna say what, what you gonna say no gonna say no come on see that i may as well I, go all out show people who the real you is i wasn't gonna say anything i'm just saying as a good looking girl you're gonna get more followers and that sort of stuff from creeps it's, fucking damn right mate there's so, no point in lying anymore so but there, are, there will be a chunk of people who look up to her and is like uh like her physique, I like her information, and are bought into her messaging. So when she goes to sell a product, they're buying that product because mm. they think that this is what, like, especially when you're saying the message behind it, that this is what got me from this to this, and then she photoshops a picture. Mm -hmm. Fucking sleazy, and should, in my opinion, have a fucking, all sponsorships taken away from the man. So I put up a story, and I was just like, I just, probably a semi biased question, but I was like, eh, what do you think of do you think people photoshopping photos it affects no one at all affects the person posting the most or makes others feel insecure through lying so a few people did say it affects the person posting the most and i think that's the one i've got to go with what i think it affects the person posting the most now i know it will make others feel insecure a bleeds insecurities from Paige. No, but that's what I'm saying. I actually think it's affecting her the most out of everything. Because her whole demeanour is a social media influencer, right? Aye. It's And she's already good looking in the first picture. There's, there's, it's, a, it's a minuscule change, which is the crazy part, but it's still she's blatant still lies. Yeah. Blatant lies. And that's like where everything comes down to the beauty standards of the new era of social media. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And this is why taking a photo with good lighting, with your tan on, and your leanest condition, doesn't it help this? No. This does not help this messaging. No. As much as it, I, I don't think it's a bad thing kind of doing it. <coughs> it's good to see yourself in peak shreddedness. Yeah. But if that's your whole demeanour and what you build your whole presence on, like you're known as the person who's in that shape, when people meet you in person, it's like, what the fuck? Aye. The arms aren't as big as what they looked like. You're no shreddy. Sure. That ass doesn't look as fat as what it normally looks. You know what I mean? But it's true. Aye. Like, you see these guys and you see them in person, you go, is that it? Like, where the fuck's your big arms? Where's your big chest that you're fucking flaring? How do you do that with your videos? Mm. And then you see the bums and you're like, where the fuck's your bum? Mm. And it's so fucking strange. Somebody re re replied to it and they were like, no one asked for my opinion, which I was quite, I was laughing at. And she was like, I honestly think editing photos should be illegal, or at least come with a warning, similar to when a post is paid as a paid ad or a company has gifted someone something. And see how, how that would be great, but it's impossible. What do you mean? So, like, if you edit a, edit a photo oh. straight away, it has to be like, like, see, as soon as you, if you've got a photo on your camera or your phone and you edit it straight away, it'll have a wee watermark. Do you get me? Hmm. Do you know what I mean? So there'll be technology out there that can tell if it's rawly shot from your iPhone. Yeah. Um, mad, I actually meant to see that wee thing that I'd done the... Hi. Right, so you have to go into an app and video it straight from the app because it picks up the sensors. Right. Automatically has a filter built in. So I was like, my skin looks dead smooth. Aye. And I went back to the previous video. I was like, what the fuck's happened there? And then I looked at my phone. I was like, I've not put a filter on this. What the fuck? So does TikTok? So, aye. 
TikTok does the same. Instagram does the same. Snapchat. Does is it the Instagram do the same? It. Instagram does the same. Does it? Um, your Snapchat as well does the same. Like, what the fuck? And this is the this is actually quite alarming that we're going down this route. Aye. And I've said this before. I actually feel, I feel the worst I, I feel for it is because it's no guys that are really affected with this. More so, is it's women. Aye. It's women, and I see clients, non clients, friends, fucking family members putting filters on their stories and it drastically changed their how they look and and i know it's i don't know it is it is what it is at the end of the day but it's the fact that they feel they need to do that because they don't feel happy with their looks yeah and, they're, and it's not changing any, like it's like when you if somebody goes for to get their nails done and it gets like a little bit of lip filler then there's an understanding there that it's the real life them that they're changing right yeah. but if you're changing a picture you're never going to look like that Whereas, like, obviously... Think, like you said earlier, there's levels to the game, right? I think even the lip filler and the... To an extent, like... You could argue makeup in a, in a sense. But it makes oh. it... No, no, you could... You know, oh. you could I'm not going to be changing your actual structure of your lips. Yeah, cheek contour. Are, Contouring, you're not just... No, it's not contour. That's... Um, that changes the structure of your cheeks. No, I'm talking about actual surgery. Oh, Basically, right. It's, I'm talking about the makeup aspect. Right, okay. So I'm, I'm saying, like, changing the structure of your face... Can can lead down a dangerous path because you we all get older, yeah, and things are going to look different as we get older. Yeah, so why celebrities are look f- so fucked up because they're oh, look at Brad Pitt, right, handsome guy back in the day, right. The older that he's got, what the fuck's happening to his face? Um, Zac Efron, oh mate, he's fucked, fucked himself up, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Mm-hmm. But my opinion, it shouldn't, uh, uh, and I'm saying this that he's fucked himself up that. He's even more insecure probably now because he's chasing the whole looks aye, side aye. of things. Um, I'm not intelligent enough to speak about this. I don't know what the answer is, but I know for sure photo editing your pictures like that isn't he helping. No, no. I'd, I, I would 100% agree. The makeup thing's like a totally different... Mate, but it's, you, it's, need, you need to speak to a girl about that. I bet because you're, you're no... And, and I'm not saying I'm, I would... I was kind of half hour saying that makeup can be the same way, like where you see there's tons and tons of like contour and foundation that's put on, but it's like girls getting their nails done. Like they, they it may make them feel good. It's, it's like you getting a haircut. Like makeup like, can be an enhancement of looks. So can a haircut. Or it can be you're changing your face. Do you know what I mean? There's two ways it can go. You can be changing your full structure or you can just be enhancing your looks. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And like you can do both and we're not saying don't do any, but, are you really making your life easier by changing your full face for one night? Have you ever met anyone and then been a, maybe attracted to them and night out and then seen a completely different person? The next Obviously, day? mate. You have. Obviously, Has this happened to you. Aye, 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 aye. Quite a few times. Oh, really? Aye. I mean, it's it's quite a common thing, isn't it? I don't know. I, I don't. Well, it I might mean, be I'll... the boozy goggles as well, though. <laughs> Wake up and go. Right. I'm Do you know not... I'm being hurt? Like, we're obviously, this, this is the one thing. The bad thing about our podcast is there's no girl on to <laughs> talk about it, but I guarantee you, but I guarantee you the, the response to this is, hi, well, James, she wasn't happy with what she woke up and oh, saw you. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> did you put your specky I glasses on? <laughs> fucking howling when, uh, did you see what Alex put up? It was the reel, and it was how guys, it's how girls uh, motivation the videos are. And it's like, you're the queen, you're the prize, you're the princess, you go girl, you go smash it's it. Like, yeah, it's and stupid it's like, yeah, you're, you're fucking shit. shite. You you're need no to work enough. harder. <laughs> you need to make more money, you little bitch. <laughs> we're, we're two different species for a reason, man. But let's go, like, let's go straight into the guy's perspective. So women have got a lot of makeup, they've got fillers. Guys have steroids. They have fake tan, which girls have fake tan as well, right? But they have steroids, they have these veneers, they have the cars. Do you know what I mean? Last year, a lot of girls have nicer cars, but a guy's more inclined to buy a nicer car to impress a girl than a girl is to buy a nicer car to impress a boy. Mm. Do you know what I mean? A girl's a guy's more likely to take steroids to impress a girl than a girl is to take steroids to impress a guy. So there's the, 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 the sexies have a similar problem, but the They're way the different. problem is is I brought up is completely different yeah so you've got like the likes of makeup you've got the likes of clothes like guys and girls don't dress the same in a gym do you know what i mean but a lot more guys will be taking steroids a lot more girls will be dressing in bright nice colors and i'm not saying there's anything wrong with either 
But the insecurity breeds out in a different way. Aye, it looks different. And not everyone who takes steroids is super insecure. And not everyone not. who wears... <laughs> what? I'm not. <laughs> no, not everyone who, who wears nice gym gear is insecure. Some are severely confident and some are severely insecure. Yeah. I'm trying to think for guys what where it would be. It, it goes into the aesthetics looks as well. It's, it's pure aesthetics, mate. It's pure. And aesthetics in the sense that... They're not doing it for themselves. Nah, they're doing, that, nah they're, they're doing it for girls. They're doing it for. We're doing it for the track. Did you see the video that I done yesterday? No. Did you see the wee content creator guy? Who? He makes good videos. About nineteen years old, twenty years old. His page. Oh my god. Who? So he makes great videos. These content. I don't. I can't. I can't remember. Did I see your name. video? I didn't see your video. I done. So I done a stitch of it. I never seen it. So. Uh, his name is Kaya Mintz, right? Oh, I hate that wee. <laughs> I'll take it back. I hate him, mate. Really? He pisses me off. So I had to check myself with it because I got, I was like, what do you mean don't train legs? What the hell is going on here? Have you seen, mate, well, I was watching some of his videos. I'm like, he's, no, but I actually think he's just at it. So I said that at the start. I was he's like, just like, at in, it. In fairness, I think he knows what he's doing. Ah, he knows what he's doing. We're talking about it just now, right? Because he's really good at content creation. Well, he's fantastic and an amazing content editor, right? A content creator. I don't hear um, him, by the way. And this is what I saw initially. I was like, I fucking hate this. And then I had he to check myself because I was like, I actually skipped legs. You know what? I actually thought like this. And then I thought to myself, I had to check myself. And I was actually quite proud of the video that I'd done because it wasn't like fucking going after him. It was like, look, been here, done that. Here's what I would tell my younger self. Because that's all he is. He's I didn't know you stitched that. I thought you just shared the video with him. No, no. So I've stitched it and said something. something right. It, right. I didn't know you'd said something. I just thought you'd shared his video. Aye. And so, just wrote something. No, so... And and this is where you work on that skill of empathy, man. You'll have a better outlook on life. Because that could have ruined my day. And it nearly did. And then I went through his page and I just went, here's a guy working out, right? He's trying to do something for his physique. You can tell he's new to I went through like, the same journey with the same guy. Yes, and then... And I thought, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to do a response to this. No, to him, just to people in general who might come across it. And and it was to that that younger self of me who used to skip legs because of that reason, who didn't find squats and deadlifts. I found it relatively early still, but I know so many people who don't start doing it until their late 20s. Yeah. And you have all those years of missed opportunity to do some fantastic movements like squats and deadlifts. Yeah. Uh, so I know his videos are, he knows... He's, he, knows he, the he, he knows he knows the algorithm. He knows he's trying to piss people off, but he's semi likable. Yes, yeah, do you know that way? I was watching him. I'm like, what he is is securing himself, which is great to see. Aye, aye, that's what he is, and, and I, that's what I didn't want. I said, look, I don't want to dishearten anyone away from their fitness journey. Keep doing you, keep doing your thing. But here's some here's some things I've learned along the way. Aye, I was speaking to someone who's doing my powerlifting program, and she's 47, and she was like, because I was like, I wish. Because it's like, I, I would love to be a powerlifting coach as my passion project. Like, that would be, I wouldn't like to be a powerlifting coach full time. I'd like to be like, Why? getting people into powerlifting, like, as a passion project. Why? Because there's not a lot of money in it. How's it not? It's the same? Nah, there's no. It's very, we, me and Gab were speaking about it. It's very niche. And you get paid, they, they charge the same as a normal PT. So you're very, there's not a lot of clients. And there's a lot of good powerlifting coaches out there already. Do you know what I mean? But a lot of people go look at them and go, I don't like you. Because the powerlifting community is very, no, it's not just a niche sport, they are very niche people. Do you know what I mean? Kind of, but I don't know, man. I would, I think if, I think you can be successful in anything, put your mind to it, man. And I, I think powerlifting is one of the sports that's getting more and more popular. No, so it is, it is. Be silly. There's no not many people in Britain, though, that would make a lot of money. Do you know what I mean? But see, I don't know, man. I disagree. Even people that taught me. But I'd, I'd, I'd honestly disagree because you're how you monetize it's the exact same way as you do as a PT. But there's a lot. Uh, but there's a lot of work that needs to be done to get to that stage. I would never like. I'm nowhere near. Being... Yeah, we need to do a competition or so. But yeah, like powerlifting, in the sense that you like you, you can niche down even more in powerlifting. You could go in. I know that you wouldn't do this, but you could go into manufacturing your own belt and then market it that way ah yeah yeah you yeah, could yeah. go into the program side of things you could go into the one-to-one -one coaching um so many different ways you could monetize it mate you I could no you could you could monetize it but i'd rather it be a passion project because i love getting people just into the gym anyway like i love that as well yeah. uh what was my point <laughs> i know she was like well i'm 47 and she says i've only i've no long started this i used to do running in boot camps she said 
don't worry. She said, I'm 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 loving this. This is the best thing I've ever done. And she says, I'm not gonna stop anytime soon either. And I was like, that's a fucking mentality I have. She's forty seven, found it and went, This is the best. But is that what you love about the powerlifting then? What? Like why do you, why you, why are you bringing that up as a point like for the powerlifting passion project? Uh, be- Jesus Christ, that's a mess of No. What was the, I can't even remember what the point was. That's no. what I mean. Like you, you what you said I'd love to I'd love powerlifting to be a passion project to train people for No, but the point was what she said. Yeah. And like how That's what I mean, is that why you love it as a passion project? Because it does that to people. Aye. There's not I because so I there, there you go, it doesn't need to be powerlifting, you can be very successful. It's the very same message which can people Aye. Program up but I think like How did, does Robin do with the powerlifting element? I know she's enjoying it. She's enjoying it, but she's also like she loves her trail running and that. Yeah. yeah. So she's like that's her. She does both at the same time, which means she can't do. Do you know what I mean? But she loves that, and I'm like, I'm like, cause she's in love with that. I'm like, I love that yeah, as well. Good, good. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing better than seeing your clients. I'm so I can't. There was a point to that, mate. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> that's what I was confused about. I was like, what do you mean? What, was like, it, what were we talking about before? Because <laughs> you said about the um, the powerlifting. No, what we talked about the wee guy. What were we saying? Just being secure and what he does and no training a certain way and marketing himself. I don't know where you were going with, mate. You've don't been drinking? You sure you're teetotal? <laughs> don't, know, don't know where I was going with that. That's actually one of the next episodes we need to do about uh, alcohol and stuff like that. Boozing. Um, but yeah, I think one of the, actually one of the things I wanted to bring up just before we finish up here, which leads nicely on to the whole mental health side of things. So it's been recently, you you done a post about it, it was recently Mental Health Day. Yeah, Mental was Health it? Day. Who makes these days up? Fucking any cunt. See steak and blowjob day? What a day. Ah, yeah, yeah. I love no getting a steak and a blowjob on steak and blowjob day. I love missing it out. Uh, but who the fuck sits uh, in the markets these days? Uh, <laughs> Guys, that's you, who it is. Do you get a steak and blowjob in a blowjob? Absolutely, mate. Do you? Absolutely. I love it. Yes, I fucking love it. I ain't missing days like that. <laughs> what do, what's the equivalent to women? Every single fucking day, I tell you that. <laughs> Oh, this is get this is hundred uh, percent getting cancelled. Second blowjob day should be every day. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, what's the equivalent for women? Ah, they have loads, mate. Birthdays, anniversaries, <laughs> <laughs> Christmas day, Valentine's <laughs> day, Valentine's day. That's, Valentine's that's a day, day. Yeah, that's a guy's. That's not a guy's. Day. That's not a guy's. Guys who are benefiting from that, shame on you. Right? Ah, yeah, shame I'm, on you. You're getting all the you're getting all the roses. <laughs> and all I love that. this. Love my chocolates. I definitely, aye, aye, aye. That is a that is a women's day, but that's a good, not in a good way. In uh, a good I'm way. I'm only messing. I'm only messing. Right. What was the mean? Oh, mental health day. Right. Mental so, health day. Aye. That was the other day. <laughs> 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 we. Where was I going with this? Aye. So you made a post the other day about. I wasn't wanting this to be like a pure fucking heartfelt episode and stuff like that, but we. It can be. It can be a wee bit cringy online because you see everyone start to share about it on this particular day, and then nothing gets done about it. November is coming up so that's usually like men's mental health month and all that sort of stuff the and the reason i, I wanted to ask you a question i'd fucking written it down but can i find it give me a wee sec but i wanted it was in it was in it was to do with like mental health um so the other day what was the what was the reason behind posting that so you've you would you've been open that going to therapy and all that and i know we kind of spoke about it in the last episode but what would you say for this year? One, obviously, one of the biggest things you've done for your mental health is going to therapy. But what would you say is one of the other things that that had to happen this year for that to get better? Being vulnerable, aye, with, the people, with the people closest to me. Just being open and honest. Who, who, who I am? Like no lying. Who I am? Anymore. Do you know what I mean? Like one of my clients, she was like. One of the reasons why like, a couple of my clients have said the same thing. For a guy, you are so open with your emotions and honest that I'm not used to a guy being like that. They can't, they can't understand. Not that they can't understand it; they've never seen it. Yeah. And I was like, "That's a good thing because if I can get that right, then that's going to be the way that relationships flourish." Yeah. Because it's open and honesty, but genuine open and honesty. It's not like try to be somebody else uh, i found the question i want to ask i guess it you, you kind of answer there but what's the biggest challenge you've overcome in your own mental health journey this year i was going to say something bad there no way i kill myself <laughs> being serious aye i was speaking to somebody the day and humor mass emotion 
It's funny Humor does mask. mask, but he was like, so I they probably won't listen to this, but it's actually quite true. So ADHD, when when I found like that, I probably have it this year. One of the emotions I had was, I want to kill myself. Do you know what I mean? It was like every day. It's like I want to kill myself. I don't think I'm gonna, but I want to. That's what you're saying to yourself. Ah, uh, that's what I was saying to myself, and that's how it goes. And he was he was saying to me, he was like, I'm telling my girlfriend I want to kill myself, and I was saying it in a joking fashion, and I was like, don't worry, mate, I know you're being serious. He says, I know you won't. But I know you want to, mm. and I we just and it was like you you, you get it didn't you? I was like I know you won't do it, but I said no deep down you want to, and we had a wee chat and I was like the only reason you want to is because the other choice is work hard on everything else that you've not done before. Is that a CBA attitude type thing? Would you say no CBA? It's I've said it. I've said it before. Right? I've said it to Jillian. I, I I'm I probably know as in tune with this as as is what you've had it because I know I wouldn't right I just lie on the couch and I've had one of the fucking down days and Jill walks by and she's always up he's I don't know I just want to fucking end it man just want to crash this car or whatever I'm doing now never, I know I'll never do it but it's like tongue in cheek joke aye aye um, is it is it like that or would you say it is mere experience? no it's it's probably serious like I'm laughing but like that's 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 because you need to laugh because if you don't laugh it's you cry <laughs> you don't even cry you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead. It's like, it's like, no, but that's, I don't, I don't. it's genuinely what it is. It's like, if you don't laugh, you're going to do it. Do you know what I mean? You need to find a way out of it. Yeah. Uh, it's very hard to describe and I honestly thought it was, I thought I've really felt this. I thought I've really wanted to kill herself sometimes. Like genuinely. Probably I thought the crash, it passes her mind like I've, like I, 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 no, but I thought like people genuinely went, how do I kill myself in an easy way? Yeah. Do you know that way? And I thought that was a, I thought that was a common thing, and I was reading up and I was like, right, that actually isn't he? But I was like, do I want to? I was like, do I so talk. I was how like, did I, you overcome that? Like, do do you still have those thoughts? Have you had those thoughts recently? No, uh, I think the last time I had those thoughts was just before I started therapy. Therapy? I just before. Fucking hell, I didn't even understand you there. <laughs> before just, I started. Just before therapy. I started therapy, I remember driving home from the gym. I was like, oh no. I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. Do you know that way? And I was like, I can feel this. I'm like, I need to do something this. That's was when... that the fear of going to therapy as well? No, no, stuff? that was bef- that that was the day out the when the day I woke up, I was like, I messaged Gavin, I was like, who do you go to? I was like, I can't do this anymore. And the last few times I've felt shite, I've never felt like that again. And what what I realised was every time I felt like that, it, I was only saying I want to kill myself because I knew how hard it would be to get over it. Yeah. Or my brain was like, I don't want to go back there. I don't want to go back there. So I'd rather end it. It's because you're not happy with life. Because it's not as if life is bad at no. this point as well. No. Like, but in your eyes, I would imagine life looks worse. Life looks worse. Life yeah. looks worse in that situation. Uh, and I know for a fact the person I was speaking to today, life is worse. Mm-hmm. And we, we could have a conversation. He goes, I know... But I was like, I know where you're at. And it wasn't like, it wasn't like, I'm I'm here to help you. I'm just like, I know where you're at, mate. Like, I know for a fact that you day in your mind, you're like, I could just hang me. And we came to the conclusion that I hated you, Selena. And I was like, six months ago, mate, I hated myself. And years ago, I've hated myself. But I said to him, I said, I could be fucking blatantly honest. Luckily, very quickly, I have been able to find why I hated myself and I don't anymore because I forgive it. And that's lucky that I got there how fast I did, I think. Mm. Uh, Will I go back there? Who knows? That's how I need to keep working. But I genuinely don't think I ever will go back to that state for as long. And uh, it's a dark place and it's a place that only yourself can take yourself out of. With the help of going through therapy, do you think that's I, that's what's helped it then? That's that's, that's what's the, I going. It wasn't it, obviously whatever I done in therapy took me back to the times where I truly hated myself. Right. 
and I was and I found out why I hated myself and it's never you. It's you f- never forget who you were in that time yeah. and you never like that person. No, of it doesn't matter what you're like now. You hate the old version of you because you, you're... And you're like, if why? They were you, if their traits were in me, for example, you go, you're a fucking dick. dick. Yeah. And it's like, why, 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 why? And when you find out why, you can move on. Mm. Do you know that way? But... Psychology's mad, isn't it? I've, look, I, I've looked up how to kill myself many times before. No, no recently. Like, no, this, like... As much as I wanted to, I knew I wouldn't. But there's a voice in your head saying, like, are you going to stand in the shower and you're like... Toaster. <laughs> you're just like... You're thinking about ways to do it. And then you're like, nah, nah, you're no going to do it. You've got to get through. And then you're driving, you're like, probably could. And then slowly but surely, if you get through it, you're all right. But I can see how I can see how people kill themselves. And I've done that with no drugs. So you just imagine then can only that. imagine how people like I've been you're there as well. But if you're consistently drinking and taking drugs and you're in that mindset, you are fucking spiraling. Mm. It's very easy to make one. It's only one decision that ends your life. So I know we've joked, we've joked back and forth, but even as two good friends, best mates, I didn't know that about you. And Aye. this is it's fucking sad, man, isn't it? Sad that there's many other guys out there really, really struggling. Aye. And you'll never fucking open up about that. So I Sutton, I seen Sutton earlier and it was like somebody was talking about, like somebody showed me Sutton and it was a joke and it was somebody, somebody had sent them Sutton and it was like, a lassie with big tits, right? And it sounds stupid, right? But I was like, see guys who are exchanging things like that with each other, right? Continuously into their 30s and 40s. And they're broken inside. They're broken inside. Nah, I see. I can. You can see through it. Yeah, but even <laughs> like I said, and you it, see it, man. You see guys, and you just go, they're lonely as fuck. And, uh, just a bit to say, like you see that, and you see through it. But at the end of the day, you can still fucking mask it pretty well. Yeah. So I said to the boy I was speaking to today, I said when I first joined in here, nobody knew how I really felt, but I was manic, and I was doing things that. Like, I was searching for attention off women. Like, I wasn't trying to sleep with people. Like, the validation to man. a degree, right? Attention, that's what I, I was choking for it. But I was choking for attention. Like, I was manic. I was like, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Like, I was like, that, that, that's that's the truth. And that was me searching for just some way that I didn't need to think about what I had to think about. And then I was just like, one day I was like, I need to just think about it. And then when I was thinking about it, I was like, oh no. And I can speak about my experience, but this is mine and mine only. And that's what I said to him. I says, look, you need to do a lot of our work very, very soon. Fuck knows what's, I don't know what's going to come out for you, but you need to do it. Mm. And I found out that the, the, the reasons I made the decisions that I made earlier in the year and the st- end of the last year was because I was very lonely and vulnerable. And we spoke about this last time, but that's how it came out. I was I was at the start of a journey where, at the time, I didn't know if I was going to enjoy being a PT. I was doing classes that I hated, right? I didn't... I, was, I don't speak to my mum. I wasn't really that close with my dad and that at that time. I would only just started speaking to you. So... And when you can understand, look, I'm fucking lonely. I need to do something about it. Yeah. Right? But a lot of guys out there are lonely and they go, I feel shite, but they don't realise I'm lonely because of this. And once you realise that, like once I realised, fuck, that's why I done that. I'm not like that anymore. Mm. And I know, I know how to no be like that. I'm fine. Like, I drove home the other day, and I was like, life's good. for the, Like, and I was like, and life's going to be good. And I know, like, I'm like, I'll have dark days. Everybody has dark days. Yeah, of course. But I was like. They'll become fewer and far between, whereas that dominated your life more often. Dominated my life there, and I was like, that answer that I got about the fact that I was vulnerable. And the reason the reasons I was vulnerable, I was like, that makes so much sense. Mm. Cause I was asking why, 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 why? Cause I said to him the other day, I was like, mate. With the boy. 
I've no my therapist. therapist, right? I was like, mate, I have done all this work going back to the past. I was like, I understand myself. I know why I'm fucking doing this. I know why I do this. I know how to work on it. I know it's going to take a little bit of time to be the best version of me, but I know for every day it's going to get better. I said, I know this. I said, but why did this happen? And we went and found it. I was like, fuck, man. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. I know why that happened now. And I was like, I know because I've already done the stuff for the past. I says, I know why that led to that and I know why this led to this. Do you think there's a level of acceptance that you need to? Whereas before you're like, there's so much like, maybe no hatred, but there's so much, I don't want to be that person. There's hatred. You, there's hatred for I, yourself. Of course, but you don't want to accept that that was you. So it, you turn it to hatred. It's like, oh, I fucking hated that guy. Aye, Instead of going, you know what? That was me because of this. Aye, like, aye. No, not even that was me because of this, but it's like, that was me. That was me. Uh, so I was six weeks in, and six weeks isn't actually a long time. Mm. And six weeks in with three, thirty. You were doing bi-weekly. Four, four sessions all in I've had. Yeah. And he was so we got to the end, and he was like, "Right, so where are we going for here?" I was like, well, "What do you mean? I'll like, come back in two weeks." He's like, "Do you want to?" I was like, "Well, I." And he was like, "So like when a PT client wants to stay on with you, like, what? I thought you were leaving." I and he was <laughs> like, "Well." I actually think we've got to, like, he says, everything you've said is with true confidence and true knowledge. He says, a lot of people wouldn't admit to what you've admitted the day. And I was like, right. Fuck, I was like, what's that? And I was like, that's fair. I was like, do you know what? I can actually admit the person I was. I don't like that person. Yeah. But that was me because of X, Y, and Z. And once you know, like, it's like, mine we were talking about at the start, when you write something down, it clears your mind yeah once but you know you said something which kind of brings back to what we were joking about earlier like having a high body count and why maybe why that's going to be an putting you off and you said when you first came into jd you're like who's that who's that who's this and i wonder if the high body can count really masks a lot of these fucking issues that people haven't resolved oh i don't necessarily the Maybe one element is sleeping with other people that's not being yourself. But aye, aye. The other thing would would probably also be that you know there's more fucking I'll say craziness. I don't mean it, but like that. But you know what I mean? More um, issues that an individual's not certainly dealt with, and you're then going to. Well, how good that. does it feel to sleep with somebody new? Feels fucking amazing to start. You're like fucking never. Especially when you went seven eight months with it. <laughs> but you're like I fucking love this. The chat's fucking great. Some that I means not always good sex, but if the sex is great, it's fucking fantastic, and you're like class. What are you thinking about? None. Mm-hmm. Nothing life, about anything. Life's good. Aye, life's good, and then it wears off, and you go right next person. That's what that's what people do. We like not everybody, but a lot of people with high body points will do that. It's an addiction. It's an addiction. That's why people get addicted to sex. Sheer sex addiction. Yeah. Because sex makes you feel so good that you don't think about anything else. Yeah. Ah, that, that fucking went deeper than I thought. Aye, aye. I don't know. I've seen it. I, I wanted to talk about it on, on the podcast. I think, I don't know if I will release that other episode. I think I might. I think I can sort of. What, the one the cameras like, cut on? No, I didn't even, oh, plug, no, the, 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 didn't the even plug the mics in. <laughs> um, but because there was a lot of good stuff that we spoke about in that, and I don't aye. know how well it will come across. But um, I seen you when you made that post the other day. I was like, let's talk about that in the podcast. I wrote that question down that out this year. I think there's a lot of. At Sean Casey's event, you said you would start speaking about it more publicly. Aye. And from the, <laughs> there's a lot of people struggling out there and I think your story should certainly help people with that. I think it will. And I think now I'm super confident. I need to do a lot, I still need, there's a lot of work to be done. Yeah. Do you you're know never, what I mean? It's like working on your health and fitness journey. You're it never, never done, ends. Never it done. never ends. It's a continuous thing that you do. And I'm, I'm, for the first time ever, I would say I'm properly looking forward to the future. Because I know it's full steam ahead. Yeah, like I was, good. see when I was like driving to work the last two days, I was like, I was like, fucking here we go. Like, you know, I, like, I was like, fucking yours. <laughs> but I know I need to cook like yeah. before, I know I need to actually <laughs> calm myself down. And do you know the funny thing is, I don't have an ox in my new car and I'm not going to get one. For music? Because that's my relaxed time. Mine's in my bike and then I'm enjoying that. Mate, it fucking, yeah, it, so, you that. need something to calm you down. I love stimulation, that's my problem. Yeah. And I don't think I ever will stop loving stimulation. Nah, of course not. That's why <laughs> the the gym's almost an addiction for you. That's yeah. probably why when yeah. you meet uh, people uh, or you're addiction. talking to people, that nearly becomes a bit of an addiction. Yeah, it so does. It, 
you we talk about addictive personalities you definitely have that mm. so anything new and exciting can easily turn into that addiction ah you can flip back um, switch so like you said you know to kind of ease back a wee bit mm. nah, good right let's wrap things up there I know, what chat the fuck, man? We, we sat that down, was like, so unexpected. Let's talk about Paige Hathaway and tran- edit and transformation pictures. And we spoke about a lot. But we hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, the best way you can share love and give us your support is by leaving a five-star rating on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you choose to listen to this. If you haven't heard, or heard, if you didn't know we were on YouTube, and you have a YouTube account, subscribe to the show. That also is the best way to support us. Leave a comment below. What was the wildest thing you heard us say in today's episode? Mate, Let us know. Fuck knows. <laughs> Potentially maybe cancelled, but you know we will never be cancelled. I think we pulled it back there. <laughs> I think we pulled it back there. Um, we never edit these episodes as well, so it's always raw conversations, and we just go for it. And that's, and they may not be right all the time, but I think that's the it's no, who we are. And well, absolutely. Integrity, um, yeah. uh, some of the... We will be... Uh, Argued away with some of the points. <laughs> uh, abso- absolutely. Absolutely. You can find me on Instagram. Find me at Coach Crosser. You can find me at James McGinty PT. And you can also find the mindset, uh, Bulletproof Mindset page on Bulletproof Mindset underscore underscore on Instagram. So until next time, have a nice one. <laughs>